Yeah, sure, let's give it to them. This also has almost a thousand troops in there. I guess that would be an easy way to like not let the enemy proceed your stuff. Just have a shitload of garrison units. Okay, let's kill these guys in. Let's see who else we can grab. And that should be enough. Okay, he's going to besiege that. I guess I can go this way. If if the if the clicking in this game would work, well, that is. You click on a on a hill or something, then and it just doesn't register. And they're sieging one of those. Nice. Just in time to save it, I guess. If these guys could actually catch up with us. Mm, the Shogun 2 was the last good till war. Well, if you don't include mods in Total War games, then yes, I'd say. If you do include mods, Rome 2 can be pretty good. If you play with David A. Tempera or some other mods. <laughs> Look at that. Instantly. Rebels. <laughs> nice. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. I think that's... I think that's because the, uh, the clan was... Uh, I guess no. That would... Maybe because the culture changed to the Tessujin one and the clan leader for that, or the clan that took that was the Empire one. So if you're gonna play Total War without mods, then definitely Shogun 2 was the last good one. I'd say Rome, Rome 2 is... It's easy to say the least. And Attila was kinda decent. But then again, I usually play that with mods as well. So I can't really say if the game's good by default. Right, I did say I'm not gonna do that anymore. Archers? Loose formation. I mean, the Total War, War, Warhammer ain't that bad, I mean. It's one of the better Total War games, but it's fantasy. Oh, I didn't change my weapon. That's gonna be bad. I guess you can say that Warhammer Total War has brought a lot of like people into the Total War series, but that's actually a bad thing because they simplify the game so much, it's not even funny. I mean, just take a look at the Three Kingdoms. It's so freaking bad. Unbelievably bad. The sim I mean, they the call a quote of the game, for fuck's sakes, like... Jesus Christ, man. 
Well, the only reason I'd say that Total War 2 is good be if you, because if you play with the Call of Duty, Duty, Total War. <laughs> yeah, that works. That's true. Because DVD and the Paramount adds uh, a population system in the, into the game again. I mean, I streamed that as well, so you can take a look at that. So, I mean, that's pretty enjoyable. It's not like population. Well, maybe it's a bit more complex than the population in Rome 1 and Medieval 1. Because you have the class system as well. So if you don't have patricians, you can't actually recruit Triarii and Equites. So you can uh, say that with that mod, Total War 2 might be a little bit more complex than Rome Total War 1 as well. Except the fact that you still have like uh, limited construction site, uh, construction slots, and all that. And it added in the supply system, so you can't actually like your army can't be outside of your provinces for fucking ever. They're gonna lose food. That's pretty good as well. But base Rome 2, it's it's just awful. Or I guess uh, you'd say it's too easy. Like there's no challenge to it. Even if you play a legendary difficulty. Like the, basically the only challenge is at the beginning then it becomes this easy after a while. want to put uh, the highest tier units sludge into the garrison you want to put uh, like uh, tier 3 or tier tier 3 at most i'd say infantry and archers not like not like not like not like the elite units uh, i mean i can show you my garrison it's, it's basically a tier 3 infantry and three tier 3 archers so like not the highest tiers even in like Warband, if you watch one of my old playthroughs of it, I usually go around recruiting and uh, leveling up the troops to like tier 3 and letting, uh, setting them into the castles and the garrisons of towns. You don't want to have the highest tier shit in the, in the garrisons, that's for sure. Because it's better to have a lot of shit tier, well not shit tier, but like mid tier troops in the castles than like uh, a lot of elites. Because um, much better using those, it's much better off using those elites in your army or party. Get what I mean? Unless you need to like have a backup of recruits or units. If you lose a lot of yours, then you want to have like a garrison somewhere with elites. And if you use the improvement, improved garrison mod, that makes uh, things a lot easier. Cavalry would break sometime, so we don't have to chase them down. Okay, I'll show you my garrisons now. Oh, 
look at them. They're facing the surgeons. Finally. Okay, see, I do have the improved garrison mod on. And basically, here you can set a template for the garrison recruiters to go out and recruit. So I do have, like, this is tier 3 infantry and tier 3 archers. And then and I got tier 3 noble units in there. Because they are still pretty cheap. Considering. Let, the, let me actually show you the prices of them. So, I think I have these guys. So these guys only cost 5 denarii. And since the wagers, wagers are lower than the castles, they usually cost around 2.5 or even less than that. Like the highest tier cost 12. So it's much better to have two of these than one of these in the castle. And these guys actually have the katana, so they're gonna fare better in fare better in sieges. And then skirmishers as well, or archers. Yeah, it's much much better to have them than these higher tier ones in the castle. Because you can again have two of these. Or one of these. That only, at least that's how I did it. And you basically the only thing you need for garrisons. To make sure the enemy doesn't attack you. Is a lot of units in the garrison. Like the quality doesn't really matter that much. You just have to have a lot. If you can see like look at my. I need to show you that like here. You look at that. They have 500. They have, look at that. 485, 438, 452. But that's only the garrison. That's not the militia in there as well. So with the militia, they have even more. I don't think we can actually see that. Yeah, 300. So Wallstrom, for example, has 300 mil, 301 militia. And uh, 485 in the garrison. So almost 1,000 in the garrison. I'm still making money. Then again, uh, I do use the Distinguished Service mod as well. So one, when units like get kills in the battle, I can recruit them as companions. And they have a, 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 like a lot more points into whatever you pick for them. So that, that does make things a little bit easier. But if you have money problems, I'd say the easiest way to get money is just do battles and sell the equipment afterwards. Just loot and sell. That's the easy. Uh, that's the, usually the way I make money. That's the easiest way. He's besieging Poros again because we lost it, or it rebelled instantly. But like even in Warband, you want to have like sh lower tier units in the castles. And cities as garrisons. Because they are not actually gonna do anything. They just need to be there and sit there. You might you can go with two tier two as well. If uh, tier three is too expensive. You just see, need to have the numbers. Because they are basically there to slow down the enemy. Slow down the siege. Not actually defend the siege because they're always gonna lose out in that in those in that matter. If the AI attacks them. And if you see an enemy like going to besiege something, if you jump in and your party has a lot of troops, they're just gonna turn around and not besiege it anymore. So you just basically need numbers, nothing else. Yeah, the non-aggression pact expired, even though we're at, at war, we're still with them. Right, what's happening here? I need to take a look at that more often. Yeah, 
I still have a lot of troops. I think the diplomacy mod is actually saving their ass at this point since they're not at war with everyone constantly. The non aggression packs are saving their asses. This one's pretty interesting. Yeah, imagine if the AI like places archers up there so they can shoot at us from above. That's why I do want to do like a uh, custom defensive siege battles. Somehow, kind of. Maybe they're gonna get wrecked if they're still just sitting there. Why did he move at the last second? Come on, game. Actually, gonna do a decent amount of damage to us once the infantry comes in. Unless I can get in here somehow and kill them all. No, 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 no you just ignore me. I'm not gonna do anything to you. Oh, yeah, look at, look at how many of them are there. Maybe I can go up here, snipe him. Well, this worked out. Shit, no. Okay, I survived that at least. Yeah, when where, where there's like wider stairs, you can go up there with a horse. <laughs> this is how you besiege your settlement. Maybe. Yeah, you can go up these if you're careful.
But you need to like go side to side on them. in the entire army. So like just loot everything. You do need a lot of mules for that. And just sell them at the city. That's the easiest way to make money. And if you do have a lot of battles or fight a lot of battles, you do earn a whole lot of, of that. Of course, we can't dump prisoners in there. Why would we? See. I think that's still bugged out, so we're fine there. Let's take this. Oh, look at that. Sturgeons are actually take. Wait a minute. Oh, they're at war with the Kuzites. Shit. God damn it. I was hoping they were at war with the Empire. enough. I think if we give it to them, it's gonna revolt again. Let's see what happens. Yeah, the culture stays... Oh, this is besieged. Never mind. The culture stays ours, but the clan that leads it is Empire. I think that's why it's gonna revolt, probably. Okay, never mind. It's not besieged anymore. The army from over there is probably going after the castle down there. For sure. I don't want it, man. God damn it. Yeah, I guess it's... Yeah, it's a little bit better if one of these two gets it. And that guy. It'll be funny if the clans can actually convert to your culture as well. Go get them, boys. Come on. Let me switch out the weapon this time around. Beginning of battle, the morale of your troops is increased by five, increase the rate of recruiting prisoners. And troop game in fear while fighting. Yeah. First one. Do we have any levels up? Yes, we do. Hunter is back again. Listen. Yeah, I tell them to spread apart. Any progress? Well, we took two cities or two castles in one city since you left. Oh, we had three or four battles. What do you mean, any progress? All I do is progress, man. <laughs> Unless I'm playing uh, David at Impera, I'm pretty fucking slow in that. Not much I can do about that, it's pretty slow. Yeah. Can't tell if they're coming towards us or not. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, standing still is not the best idea, ever. In any game. Actually, let's sit here at the bottom of the hill. I think they're gonna come across it. Okay, 
they're not moving up. Looks like their armies are still like trash, fortunately. Okay. Let's come across the hill. Hopefully, I don't get lands, but while giving orders or something. level if uh, these archers were spread out a little bit more maybe okay see you hunter good night when they load in more troops that's so fucking annoying they still have or um, this might be all of them I think they had like 900 troops there should be a what another wave oh that's a fucking nice place for our reinforcements Another load of reinforcements, and so do we. Nice.
That's funny. Uh, their enforcement so spawns somewhat close to them, while ours, ours spawn all the way in the back. here except the fact that their infantry is running away again up the hill Guys, can't actually catch up to them. have 53 enemies left just around the oh, cab forces and everything else. No, never mind. They only they decided to retreat. Nice. For once. Can you look at that. 59k from that. Then I'm gonna do have the battle true battle loot or whatever it's called. But I guess I could uh, right that's not besieged, that's only bugged out. I think I'm gonna end it here, it's almost midnight. So thank you for watching guys. Have a good morning, good day, good night. See you next time. sure we count as ninjas here or more like samurai we do this the honorable way not the sneaky bitch way i did add two more mods well one's gonna matter the rts camera i managed to make it work not sure how much i'm gonna be using it though we'll see because if i do start using it i'm just gonna stay in rts camera mode not even gonna play the game in first or third person. I'm just gonna control stuff. Okay, so. Yeah, looks like we got time to take something else. They did besiege that. I think I beat the army there. Something like that. you too early as always 
under an uh, sludge. Let's see. Um, three, two, four. How much does this have? I might be able to squeeze out another castle before they peace out. Then I want to let these guys go recruit a little bit. And we're going to declare war on them again. Yeah, they're fairly weaker than us so far. It would be even better if they went to war with someone else. Well, except for Landia. You know, like Sturgia and uh, the Azurai. Two eighty-two, not bad. We can take that easily. Wait, Boros rebel again? Yeah, he, they did not this time. Suddenly we can see the like war exhaustion thing now while while we're besieging. It's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna suck if we're like just about, I'm just about to click the attack button and they peace out. Which they might very well do. Let me switch out to what we weapon so I don't forget. Hmm, look at the surgeons there. Come on, declare war, you know you want to on them. Something of ours is besieged, I think. Yeah, Poros, uh, well, Poros is freaking far. Can't do shit about that. Do need to keep checking that. We need to attack this if we don't even destroy the walls. Which is gonna be painful. Oh, this I don't think we're gonna get this before the war ends. Six. I fucking knew it. Well, time to do that again. They're below ten K now. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck six. I probably lost the battle somewhere, so yeah, Hanzo might have picked them off, so that's why they peaced out. Jeez. Like, j j well, at least I wasn't about to click the thing. Might actually they disable the mod, the diplomacy mod for some future playthrough. Well, this is gonna be the last day for this mod, at least. I'm not sure. Like, uh, since I think this is saving the empire more, the diplomacy mod it is, then it's helping them. Then it's uh, hurting them because they can uh, get out the wars for uh, quite a long time. The non-aggression pacts do last a while. How much exactly? 
looks like he... okay they pissed out the southern empire which doesn't exist and they got uh, 38 days of peace with them so looks like they got a hundred you get a hundred days of non-aggression back it's... yeah that sucks for us okay let's lead the assault Unfortunately, going up here is gonna uh, make our board make us border the surgeons. Hopefully, they don't attack, or I can force peace with them or something. I don't want to deal with them. What the hell game? Invisible walls or something? Looks like it. So you could in theory just stand here and kill off the ones that come up here. Because the AI will prioritize that. I think. Outside here. my skills this this way then what come on my god my my katana is so lengthy they actually gets uh, caught on the fucking walls there i see you targeting me Just mail him. No, oh, just let the archers kill him for us. You sneaky bastard. Want to 
There's only 78 of them left. Let's see where they are. Okay, maybe don't go outside to get hit by a trebuchet again. I guess I could just let these guys shoot them to shit. The militia archer. He's probably over there. Yep. Not anymore. Okay, they don't have any more uh, archers. Let's go open the gates. Right. Combat. The uh, camera thing. We can pause and do all that stuff. Config key, pause, slow motion, not bad, eight. So you can literally just cheat the game and just pause whenever you're about to get hit by an arrow to move. Easy. Only eight deaths. That's how it's done. But apparently there's one guy left somewhere. Alright. Uh, sure, let's take all of these to leave them in the garrison. Let me just check if the improved garrison mod didn't screw up or something. Because we did have uh, have it like reset a couple of frames ago for some reason. It's still fine. Bring those. Let's see. Also still going around. Okay, I'm gonna assume he's gonna be able to protect that. He's the clan leader. Or a faction leader, he should have enough troops. I don't see why would you ever like vote for that for that? Oh nice. Increase your damage by 4% with all melee weapons. Nice. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a bow, so let's take this one. Increase your damage to handle weapons by 20% when you have less than half hit points. Get some wages reduced. Weapons when your hit points are above 90. Uh, well, <laughs> are never above, above 90. 
Okay, let's we'll see. We can put... Let's see. Where do we need the points? I say we need a point in social. Now let's get the point into charm. Even though we're way beyond charming anything at this point. And just slaughter him. Okay, it would be a good idea if you like have the uh, uh, surrender tweaks mod. They actually like count your charm skill, so maybe like uh, the enemies are like more likely to give up if your charm skill is high or something like that. That would be pretty cool. Days without food, never. <laughs> I still can't get over that. So fucking broken. All of these, like, end tier skills are freaking broken. All of them. I think they need to get them out of the game or change that. Nerf them or something else. Granted, you're not supposed to easily get to 250 or 275, never mind. Any skill. Like you see me, we're pretty close when it comes to leadership. Or pole arms. What's this gonna give us? Each skill point increase, speed increase, and damage increase with pole. Yeah, that. Yeah, that might be too powerful. If you actually play that long, but usually people do play this for a lot longer than 504 days. Look at that. I know in Prophecy of Pandora, I used to finish campaigns over at, or at around a thousand days in game. War. War is internal. It would be funny to actually do, if it's possible. Like a make a mod that makes everyone be at war constantly with each other. So like total war. That would be pretty fun, although the AI is gonna fail miserably. But then I'm gonna be... I mean, what can you do about the AI? They cheat for a while, they're annoying, then you just beat their asses. With ease. Hello, Augustus. What's up? You samurai now, but in the next next uh, mod I'm gonna play is the third third crusade era mod, medieval mod. So we're gonna be I'm not gonna be a crusader, but I am gonna be a Byzantian or a Russian. I'm not sure. One of those two. No, we're doing fine. I did play a couple of games of well, one game of Vermintide two, and finally, funnily enough. The, they make Chaos Ways this one game mode easier, then a couple of days later they n make it harder again, or like revert it back, which is it's annoying. <laughs> when you were a Jew and you hear a third. <laughs> I mean, whenever you hear a crusade back then, right, it's... I mean, you're gonna be homeless, most likely. Then beaten and uh, starved and uh, looted and everything else. You won't have anything. Because the army is gonna take everything, as per usual. Doesn't matter which one. Yeah, I don't see anything else being sieged. We should be fine here. Well, good idea for the engineer, I guess. Uh, Alright, would be if you, like, uh, get to the 200 points and on. 
you get like a finished catapult or a ballista or a monager in a siege. You didn't even know you can break the walls? You can. It takes a while though. And usually you get enemies running at you instantly. Okay, so let me do this the smart way. Pause the game. Use the third person camera because I fucking got it. No. You stay there, you stay there. This is gonna make life so much easier. Uh, maybe not. Okay, let's... I do hate the fact that sometimes the fucking flags don't appear. Yeah, like, li look at that. Literally, they don't appear. So... I'm gonna hope that's correct. Until they fix the sieges where your guys go up the ladders and siege towers like they should. I just say break down the walls. That I don't want to suffer through the bugginess of siege towers, to be honest. I watch this do fuck all. I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Um... We'll see if, if they go to the right places. I think I might need to use one of the other fish free cam. Unfortunately, I still go off running. You just take the first ladder, you see? Well, your guys do get stuck on them. And they go, and usually, some, well, sometimes they go up the ladder like they should. Sometimes they just sit there and do fuck all. Yeah, I might need to do this manually. Each time. Unfortunately. Yeah, this one's shit. There's a... A fucking stick in the ground and I can't make a formation like I wanted. Nice. I have no idea where these guys are. Uh, fucked it up again. We're fine with it. You love seeing your men get slaughtered, right? Uh, we have a bunch of archers. I mean, you can count it if you want. I'm not going to. We are the samurai faction. We're supposed to have a shitload of archers. Get most of the army on the walls. Well, if it's working for you, nice. Usually doesn't work for me. See what happens for me, unless this got patched in the newest version. A couple go up the ladder or the siege tower. Then they get pushed off by the enemy and some even start like going down the ladder, which is freaking annoying to say the least. Okay, let's actually not bring them. They're gonna get shot. 